It's well known that cartoons never have to be 100% realistic, and yet the fact that instruments are never animated correctly still blows the minds of all who would watch them. It's fun to compare how a song sounds when presented through the medium of animation, compared to what it would actually sound like if the instrument played all the notes a drawn musician was hitting. Despite it being pretty common knowledge that instruments aren't animated to match their character counterparts, a massive surge in interest was kindled when YouTube user EMC Dump posted a video titled Drums Are Never Animated Correctly on the 21st of February this year. This would lead to a flood of content surrounding the topic, with thousands creating their own homage to the phenomenon. This is likely because the realisation that they aren't animated properly comes as a sort of loss of innocence moment. Once you see it, you can't unsee it and this naturally fascinates people. However, to say they're never animated correctly is a pretty big generalisation. Of course there's correct examples, though these are few and far between, often with other instruments in the same shot treated with less accuracy. After all, it's much simpler to draw vague rhythmic gestures, as sometimes the accompanying audio may not be finished, or the animator doesn't play the instrument themselves, leading to work indicative of that fact. Plus, general audiences wouldn't even notice this usually. I play guitar, and even though I often check to see if the animators are generally depicting the right chords out of interest, I don't feel terribly bothered by a cartoon not doing the right thing. Generally, as long as the shot composition is good and the movements of the musician are in time to the beat, it's relatively easy to turn one's brain off and enjoy the show. When it comes to movies, however, perhaps most people's attitudes change. After all, these are multi-million dollar projects. Surely an animator could be paid enough to have each character's fingers hit the right note on a piano. This is still rarely the case, however, as we've seen with Johnny playing the piano in Sing thanks to YouTube user Amos Doll Music. It's almost the opposite of the popular shreds trend from a decade ago, in which artists playing correctly are dubbed over with incorrect notes, leading to heavily entertaining videos. The story of my life, I take her home. Essentially, once one realises that instruments may not be what they seem on television, the understanding that movie makers or artists utilise certain tricks to tell a story feels at first like a bit of a con. But upon realising the reasons why this happens, it's certainly a lot easier to turn one's brain off and just enjoy the show. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe! <laughs>